Hey everybody, David here, back with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about some fragrances, uh, specifically wintertime cheapies. Now some of these fragrances I got over here, you can wear them, uh, they're, they're versatile, you can wear them all year round, but I wanted to uh, put the main focus to the video today towards the wintertime since where I'm living right now, it's cold out. And I got the prices here, and this uh, list is all gonna be from discounters. Okay, so when I talk about discounters, um, basically they're fragrances at a reduced price for, use that, uh, for you that don't know, but that's where I got all my uh, calculations. And also the caveat also to this, they had to be under $60. So $60, I was saying that's a cheapie. Now some of these barely uh, got under that $60 mark, but I wanted to talk about these five today. So yeah, let's hop into the video. First one I want to talk about. Um, it's from a brand probably not a lot of you have heard about. They're kind of under the radar here in the U.S., I would say. And it is Mustache Eau de Parfum. So, basically with this one, you can get a 4.2 ounce for $56.54. So, this is the 4.2 ounce. So, really good bang for your buck on this one. It uh, For you for those who have smelled it before, it's going to remind you of YSL Tuxedo a little bit. There's also other clones that have, uh, like you know, clone that fr uh, fragrance heavily, but this is kind of the designer clone, I guess you could say. It's it's similar, but not not too close, if that makes sense. Um, no, in this video, too, I don't really have any clones. These are all the designer fragrances. I don't really buy too many clone fragrances. I usually only buy designer niche, but, you know, we're talking about the designer cheapies today. So going back to uh, Mustache Eau de Parfum here, it's a sweet, spicy, woody, floral, and oriental scent. I'll put that right there. Top notes, you got mandarin orange, pink pepper. Heart notes, you got some cedar, you got some Bulgarian rose. And then the base notes, you got some benzoin and patchouli. Um, I'll say this one, very uh, nice smelling, like good, very uh, good for the winter time. Overall, I don't really have too much complaints with her performances there. I'd probably say off my skin, I get at least six to seven hours projection, probably in the first hour. Um, I haven't worn in a hot minute, but. It does have that warm, comforting effect wearing a mustache. And like I said before, this is Eau de Parfum. And even though these are cheapies, make sure to get some samples and try them out before you buy the fragrance. Now, you know, this is a type of fragrance, too, that it could be dressed up or it could be dressed down a little bit. But I'd say, you know, like this would be casual wear. This would be your gym scent. But this could also, you could also wear this in like the office a little bit. Just, you know, tone back the sprays. You could also wear it though formal occasions and it won't be out of place if that makes sense. So first one, uh, Mustache Eau de Parfum, very good release from Ro uh, Rokas. And uh, yeah. Second one I want to talk to you about today is uh, from a house that only has two releases. And both of them are, they only have, yeah, they're cheapy, they're really good cheapies. And I want to see more from this house in 2024. Hopefully they can come out with something. And this one is called Masoni Parfum Pour Homme. So you can use this one all year round. It's got some similarities to some other blue fragrances around. This is kind of a blue fragrance a little bit. I kind of wanted to not make this list all about blue fragrances. But this one um, is from Masoni. And I basically you can buy a bottle of this. It's a tester, 100 uh, or 3.3 ounces. You can get this for $32.63 off a discounter. So with this one, it's going to be fresh, citrusy, woody, spicy, um, and green. And then also at the top notes, you got spiked lavender, lime, uh, lime leaf, pink grapefruit. Heart notes, you got uh, Mediterranean herbs, uh, Pinarosa. Pinarosa is a, a heart note. And you got ginger, you got jasmine. And then you got in the base, you got musk, oak wood, sandalwood, uh, birch, and patchouli. This one is going to give a lot of people reminders if you've smelled this fragrance before as Blue de Chanel. So um, similarities to that one, but this one can stand in its own. I'd say the projection, probably first hour or two, I'd say. Uh, Longevity is there, same as mustache, I'd probably say, between the six, seven, eight hour range for me. It's been a while since, like I said, I've worn all these scents, but this is a very good versatile blue fragrance that will do just as good in the hotter months in the winter months and like I said hopefully Masoni comes out with a little bit more fragrances um, because both their two that we have right now 
are they're very good. They're very good, and I would recommend uh, you know Masoni to anybody starting out a collection or just on the cheap. And this does the job. Very versatile fragrance. So the third fragrance we're going to be talking about today, and this is this is going to be from a brand probably some people have heard about. Their fragrances are very good on the cheaper side of things. And I didn't want to talk about the most popular one because, I, like I said, I already got a blue fragrance here. But this one is from the brand Coach, and it is Coach Platinum. So as you can tell, the bottom's platinum. This one's really good. You got the little tag going on here. Let me scoot these bad boys over real quick. Put Coach Platinum right there. And I got Coach Platinum down for a 3.3 ounce bottle for $38.34. So not bad. This one, very good. Um, you know, there's a regular coach that's kind of a more of a blue. This one's a little bit less of a blue. This one's um, basically, it's a sweet, floral, spicy, fresh, and fruity scent. And it's got top notes of pineapple, black pepper, juniper berry, heart notes of uh, cashmere and geranium and sage. And then in the base, you got vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. And the vanilla and sandalwood kind of gives it that little edge in the winter kind of gives it a little bit more heft to it um and that pineapple and that juniper berry is going to give it a little freshness up at the top and then uh that geranium and sage helps it out in the in the heart notes to stay around a little bit longer um i would say you know all three of these here you know six eight hours again projection probably in the first hour hour and a half this kind of goes away um you know kind of puts a nice scent bubble and always put a nice scent bubble around you this is a little bit less blue than Coach for Men. I'd, I'd say I'd wear this more towards the winter than Coach for Men. But overall, Coach Platinum, very good fragrance. Um, and yeah, I highly recommend that one as well. Next one I want to talk about is from a brand everybody's heard about again. And this one doesn't really get as much like you know leeway as the other ones in the line. And this one's kind of the uh, odd, odd duck out of the line. And it is Versace Eros. Or Versace Eros. So this one right here, I had this one for a 1.7 ounce bottle, which that's what this bottle is right here, uh, $49.39. So we're going to put that right there. And this is this is a versatile fragrance as well. Um, you can wear this one all year round. The main accord, sweet, spicy, citrus, fruity, and synthetic. On the top notes, you got that mandarin orange. You got uh, Kinoto. That's a really um, different note. Kinoto, sorry, mispronounced it. That's a really different note than what you've seen in a lot of fragrances. This is the only fragrance I've seen use that note. You got lemon, Madagascar pepper, and rosemary. And in the heart, you got uh, pepperwood, rose, and geranium. And in the base, you got some tonka bean, vanilla, patchouli, sandalwood, uh, Texas cedar, ha uh, Haitian vetiver, and oak moss. So this one, I, I really enjoy wearing it. Out of all these, I've worn this one the most recently. And this one is it's a jack-of-all-trades. It's kind of like, you know, the Masoni here. It's not a blue, but you can wear it all year round. And it's probably, you know, it's up there for me personally and my on the Versace fragrances I own. It's probably number two. Um, but I really enjoy wearing it. It puts me in a good mood. It kind of changes the Eros line a little bit. You know, a lot of people wear the Eros Eau de Toilette a lot. But this one, this one can compete with all of them in the line, in my opinion. This one, very versatile. I like wearing it. It puts me in a good mood. And, you know, I'll break this out from time to time when I don't really know what to wear. So Versace uh, Flame, Versace Eros Flame, very good fragrance. You know, like I said, very, very affordable price. I'll look into it as well. All four of these I'll look into. Last but not least is from another designer some people may have heard about. But I didn't want to include the, uh, so there's like four or five in this, in this line. I just, I went with the OG and it is... Salvatore Ferragamo Womo, so the OG right here. And this one goes for uh, for a 3.4 ounce, $44.19. So this one right here is basically, in the heart notes, you sweet, gourmand, spicy, creamy, and woody. And, you know, I had to include a gourmand because, you know, this time of year, gourmands work just, just really good. Uh, the top notes, you got uh, cardamom, bergamot, black pepper, Heart note, you got that tiramisu note. You don't really see tiramisu much in fragrances, but it works with this one. Uh, you got ambrox, orange blossom, and then in the base you got some tonka bean, cashmere, uh, cashmere wood, and sandalwood. Now this one, I would say very kind of, um, like very gourmandish in my opinion. Got a little coffee in there because of tiramisu, 
but the tiramisu, the tonka bean, the wood, and the cardamom all works together perfectly for this one. And I'd probably say this one, five to six hours, pushing seven maybe, projection maybe about an hour as well. It's been a while since I've worn this. I know I keep saying that about all these fragrances, but just want to let you guys know. Um, but this one, very good in the wintertime. You know, this is one you're going to catch wafts of. And you're going to smell it and be like, oh, I got a fragrance on. And it smells really good. It's, you smell like a dessert. You smell like tiramisu. Got a little coffee. I really like my coffee fragrances as well at this time of year. Kind of gets me woken up, you know, instead of actually drinking a coffee, I'll smell like coffee. And no complaints uh, for, you know, a versi not a versatile, but like a good winter cheapie here in Sar uh, Ferragamo, Womo, uh, the OG in the line. And yeah, so... There you go, guys. There's my five winter cheapies that you can add to your collection if you're just starting or you're trying to save us some money. These are all designers, of course. They're not clones. Um, but, you know, they all do the job in the winter. And I would highly recommend any fragrance you see that you're interested, get a sample before you try. So maybe go to, a, a, you know, Macy's, Sephora, Nordstrom's, anything you got around you, like a Saks, and uh, try all these out, you know, if they're still in stores. You know, a lot of these might not be in stores anymore, but, you know, you can always get a sample somewhere. So, um, if you guys like the video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content, and let me know in the comments below your winter cheapies, what you, be wear what you guys wear in the winter uh, months that isn't too expensive, that, you know, you could be grab and go, or it could be sweet, and it's just, it just works perfect in the winter. So, I will see you guys later.